Hey Cancer, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a quick reading. Um, this is your current love, then your, um, this is singles love, so future. And then um, I'm also going to do a general reading, but I'm going to do that and pull the cards in front of you. Okay, so for your current situation, you have the King of Swords, seeing clearly now the Hermit in reverse, which means like being isolated and away from people, but not really wanting to be. So it's like kind of being isolated almost against your will, maybe because other people um, might see right through this person as well with the King of Swords. So this person that you're with um, in your current situation, maybe somebody that kind of like has a lot of control over you or makes you feel fearful. Um, it's, feel, it, it's like staying away from people, but not really wanting to. So it's like being forced that way. I don't know if you're in a relationship with somebody who is an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, but it can also mean that you're with somebody who's not so nice with their words, okay? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this tells me that you guys are no longer working on this situation together. There is like no work or there is no teamwork being made. I feel like you guys are not trying to work together. Um, the Sun and then heart to heart conversations. I feel like there is a conversation that needs to be made, right? And in order to do that, I mean, once you do that, I feel like that's when the happiness is going to come. It's going to bring a lot. It's going to help you feel free on um, whatever this conversation that needs to be made. I feel like with the King of Swords, there is some type of situation that's being held, or no, some type of feelings or thoughts being held back, um, especially with the Hermit being in reverse. You're not able to see clearly what you really, really want in life. But the King of Swords is also talking about cutting people out your life that no longer serve you. So maybe this is what this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is talking about. And with the Sun being a free card, I feel like this is going to help you be free and set you off into something better or at least make things more better. Um, you have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. Okay, so maybe you guys need this conversation in order to tell, you guys need to tell each other exactly what you're feeling. If one of these people are feeling more closed up than the other, you need to really explain it and tell them how you feel because maybe they don't realize what they're doing. Okay, um, this also says a new phase and preparing for union. Maybe you guys are engaged, maybe you guys are going to get married, something like this. Maybe you're trying to take things a little bit further in the situation, preparing for union. I mean, I don't know, but this Hermit in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's like maybe you guys need to start working together and be, be more open with your emotions and your feelings towards each other. I feel like there's a lot of stuff being held back, and by doing that, nothing can get fixed because they don't know it's a problem. You know what I mean? You have narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Okay, so maybe there is like, maybe you guys tried a lot of things, right? And now it's like, there's only like certain things left to be done. So I feel like it's like, stay focused on your goal. You've already tried certain things that maybe didn't work out in the past. So it's like, don't redo those same things over and over again. And um, <clears throat> shut the door. They don't listen. Narrow path, then. Okay, then you have High Priestess of Spirit. I'm going to read this to you guys. That's seven cards, the spiritual number. It's also a card of like progression. Um, know that all things, events, experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. My child, everything that you need to know is a part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, a significant experience are all orchestrated by me to help you become the powerful being that you were meant to be. No matter what is in front of you, something important is growing. You will know the answer to the what soon enough, but I keep secret the why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. So that's what I got for your current love, guys. All right, I feel like there is a conversation that needs to be um, had. And I feel like once you have that conversation, it's going to help you guys be able to move forward in whatever way that you choose to. All right, for the singles, we have the Knight of Swords. This is... um. <clears throat> being ambition, ambitious, ambitious and driven, but also jumping into things before you even think about it. So it's like with no plan, all right? So it's like with the, with, for you singles, it's like if you're meeting somebody, right? And you're like, you're like, oh my God, this is the best person ever, but you really don't know them. You're just going off of what you, first impressions, right? It's like, no, I think you need to make a plan first, get to know this person, think logically first before jumping in any type of situations. Because the five of uh, pentacles is talking about maybe this person might be somebody that um, 
winds up leaving you in the dust, okay? Making you feel like alone, like you have nobody, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, there is progression being made. The Knight of Wands, this might be somebody that you're dealing with that might have a lot of suitors. This person that you're dealing with, um, I know you guys are single, so if you guys are like talking to somebody or whatever, like, you know, <clears throat> you have two knights too, so this person might be immature or at least younger than you. But I feel like there is a progression being made, but you need to also pay attention to people and really, really look through what they say and pay attention to their actions, not what they're telling you. You have the chaser. Yeah, it does make me think of a chaser with both of these, right? Okay, so the person that you're dealing with may come and go. You may be feeling like you never have this person, right? Okay, so it's chaser and codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. And the reason why they keep on running or the reason why you keep on running, take a whoever it resonates. It's like because you're afraid that everybody else is going to do the same thing to you that other people done to you in the past. You're afraid they're going to leave you. You're afraid they're going to use you, take advantage of you, not love you, not treat you right. Um, I kind of feel like with this person that you're dealing with, I feel like this person that you're talking to, this new person, you really need to do a lot more thought before you actually talk to this person or make any further moves with this person. Then you have, you deserve love, you are lovable, okay? So I feel like maybe from past situations that you've been through, maybe you felt like other people couldn't love you because there was something wrong with you when it's really something wrong with them. So don't allow that to get in your head, okay? So it's like you are lovable and there will be somebody out there that's meant for you. You just have to find them and you really have to look right through them. Pay attention to their actions, don't listen to their words. Words mean nothing unless they follow through with them. You have fogged in, go slow and take your time. I said that a million times. So for you singles, if you guys are dating people, it's like you need to take your time. Really pay attention to these people that you will. And then you got listening. Okay, I'm going to read that. Really pay attention to what people are doing, okay? 23. And that is a five card. Two plus three is five. Five is conflict, challenges, change, okay? In my house tonight, there will be a beautiful girl with the skin of color of... Dark honey who has a gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with a great detail of expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meanings are what is required. Now listen and learn. What others don't say is what is important at this moment. Alright, so make sure you guys pay attention to that. <clears throat> don't jump too fast. Don't jump the gun. Singles. Um, we're going to do general... A general reading. Cast. And then. Future. Fancy. Okay. So, for your past, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, the Knight of Wands in reverse is like, you know, um,. Okay, so the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like right now you may be um, having a lot of energy and not sure exactly how to go about it, okay? Well, the Six of Pentacles can just tell me that maybe you're not getting, in the past, you weren't um, getting any balance. Things weren't, like, even and out for you, okay? So that could have made you, like, a little, like, you know, up and down. Okay, so for the current situation, you have Seven of Wands, the Chariot, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords. I feel like you are... You have your guards up, okay, right now, dealing with whoever has broken your heart, betrayed you, um, you know what I mean, stabbed you in the back or whatever, um, out of disappointments. I feel like you're moving on from this situation. The Nine of Cups and the Chariot cards for the current time is telling me that you are getting what you're wishing for and what you're wishing for is for success with the Chariot. Forward movement, moving forward. Um, not looking back and keep on going towards what you want. Um, your wish is about to be granted. So whatever you're doing right now, whatever this movement is doing is going to bring you towards happiness and towards your closer to your goals. For the future, you have the Ten of Swords, finality, okay, so things are finally coming to an end, all the struggles, all the stress, and all the anxieties and worries are finally going to come to the end because of this forward movement and this um, wish granted, okay, the Four of Swords just tells me that this is going to be a time for you to kind of sit back, 
have some rest, okay? And the One of Swords is the Ace of Swords, and it's like this is also standing in your truth. So in the future, I feel like you're finally going to get what you want. You're going to be able to do what you want, what you want, not what other people want. And this is going to put you towards standing in your truth, but just like doing what you really want to do. Um, this can also say that maybe you're going to be, maybe you're moving for another job. This could say job, relationship, friends, family, whatever the situation is. This is general, so you take it for whatever way that you want. But this forward movement, you might be moving forward, um, finding a new job, or moving because you have a promotion, or moving because you have a higher spot in your work, or something like this, right? If not, it's just saying there is forward movement. You're going to be able to finally be able to do what you want to do in the future. Um, and you're going to be able to get some rest, too. All that hard work is going to pay off for you guys. So, that's what I got for you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, have a good day. Toodles.